Good evening. How are you? How are you? <laughs> How are you, I, Elio? I thought that, that it was so late, but <laughs> nobody <laughs> is present. <laughs> yes, nobody, uh, nobody has arrived yet. Probably because it's the last class, right? No, it's because there is a, a there is a traffic, a terrible traffic. It's time it, it's, it took me one hour to come to my home. So this, there is a lot of traffic. Yes, it's a lot of traffic. It's, a, it's a terrific. That's it, the word, terrific. Yeah, yes. I, I guess, yes. Uh, I, I don't know, right? because here is where well, there is traffic, but not in all areas. But probably in San Salvador, now that it's uh, the weekend, right, and it's uh, December, right, it's going to be a lot of traffic nowadays. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, so one hour to go to your house. And that one hour talks to me. Yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> no worries. Uh, no worries because we haven't started yet. We are just going to review uh, the topics that we studied uh, in this section because we have finished. Uh, you finished also the platform, I guess, right? Yes, I did. I did oh. and I and I send the information to the new the new course. The new, okay. The new level. Mm -hmm. The new level, exactly. Yes. So probably you uh we are going to uh finish your I think that you shouldn't have any problem nowadays. So we are just going to review today uh some of the things like vocabulary, grammar structures, conversations, and at the end we are going to have a quiz. So um, we are going just to wait a little bit for the rest. I guess that oh, everybody finished the platform. So I guess that you, they won't have any problem. So let me see here. Just let me start uh, with a little bit of what we talked yesterday about. We talked about historical events. And we review also, right, uh, how to refer a time in the past right yes. with scenes for all of those uh words right um like and also predicting the future right with we recognize uh also the future in uh present uh, future perfect and the future continuous so i don't know if you have any question about this any other doubt that you have right now in, a, in the future uh in the future perfect or I sometimes confused because um, it's, a, it's an we use it, the the bird will have built the the tree okay the auxil the will auxiliary have the verb and built in the in past perfect the mm -hmm. thing. yes I I I'm confused but but I understand I I, I got it I got it. You got it. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, right? It's kind of confusing to create a, to create the sentences, but it's it's like habrá sido, right? Habrá sido construido, habrá sido fundado, o habrá sido. So that's something like it's like a prediction that we can uh, create. It's it's not very common uh, to use this tense, but it's good for you to know. Okay, okay. we also have Nady. Nady, thank you for being here for the last class. So we are just going to review a little bit of this. And you had a homework, actually. It says, well, we are going to check the vocabulary also in the listening and also important, wor important world events. But you had um, a homework, right? I told you or I asked you to create some predictions for you, like some, uh, like, uh, create like some probably goals for you in the future or for the next year. I don't know if you do this at the end of every year, like for example, I don't know, probably next year, uh, but this time I will be traveling to another country or I will be studying English or I will be graduating. I don't know if you set up your goals or you have any prediction for next year. Yeah. Yeah. 
You have something like that? Yeah, I, I, I did the homework. I did, I, I have something. Okay, and what kind of predictions did you have for yourself, like for in the future? I, I am, um, yes, every year, every year in our, in our work, you, you, you receive your finicky because mm -hmm. it's the new, the new, uh, how do you say contrato? The new contract. The new contract, okay. Mm -hmm. the, the, the administration cut everybody from their job and they contrast again in January. Mm -hmm. And uh, we always, okay, I always make plans to the next year. Mm -hmm. For example, that year I, I was thinking, I was thinking um, in began a, a new uh, a new step in my life. It, it is uh, to create a, an enterprise, an ecotourism enterprise. Okay. I, I yes. And what is that enterprise about? Yes. It, what is the plan? Is it is um, in the in the in the fifty third hectare that my my what we receive my family receive like a heritage mm -hmm. we will have a we will have in the olomega lagoon we will develop a project that will be called canaan de los fuentes mm -hmm. a, in two in two phases mm -hmm. in two phases the field first in the first phase uh we are planning i mean i mean i am planning uh, to to build a walking walking trails, uh, both right in the Olomega Lagoon, mm -hmm. coming to rest, her hook fishing areas in existing pond, mm -hmm. restaurant, pool in natural spring, area for game picnic, horse ride, and in the second phase to build a retirement for a retirement home home for, for the early, elderly, elderly, mm -hmm. uh, foreign elderly or national elderly. Mm -hmm. A church where a spiritual formation will be given um, volleyball courts, sand court for be soccer, soccer, restaurant on the water, uh, and a uh, store, nostalgic product store. It's a uh, it's a project that I have been thinking in, you know, in the last 10 years, I have been thinking. And that is the reason that I am learning, that I am to try, I want, I need to try to improve my English because um, I hope that uh, many uh, foreign people is going to visit us there. It's uh, like I told you, 50, 50 uh, hectares, 50 hectares is uh, in the in the shore of a lake. Mm -hmm. uh, we have river inside. We there are some places that the water give birth, uh, mm -hmm. like a manantial. Mm -hmm. And in that manantial, I am planning to build some natural swimming pool. I this is my plan for the next year. And um, what it, and that is the reason that I am improving, that I am trying to make efforts to learn English very well in a way that I can give, give me to understand with, uh, with the people that is going to be my guest. Uh, first God, it's going to be a, a play that I can employ 25 people, um, people in restaurant, people in, in in different areas, uh, like uh, for example, the people who ride the horses, people who who ride the canoes, uh, people who security people, and uh, that is my plan. My my plan. I I, I am waiting because it is a. a 
a, a planification of the government, the local government uh, is in the in in his carpet. The the get better the the roads, the pavimentar to put pavement to the road that cross our property. I don't know if, if under, you understood. Yes, yes, it's very, it's very ambitious, right? It's really ambitious, like you to have your own, like enterprise, let's say. But it will be just for, it will be for tourists or for people who wants to retire. They're like, or it will be like. Uh, in the first phase, uh, the target is a, uh, is 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 call it, is call it retire events events and in the second phase is for elder people but the continue with the first because it is big enough to have both things there yes it's very ambitious probably one day we will see it right and we will be able yes. to visit it and yeah that's very interesting Elio. very good very good to have projects yes. And also very organized because you have two phases, right? You have been thinking about this mm -hmm. and probably it's, it's, it's a plan, but probably it's, it's really near, right? Very good, very good. Yes. Perfect, very interesting, Elio. Okay, now uh, thank you for being here, everybody. I guess that everybody arrived already for the last class. Mm -hmm. Rodrigo, Nady, Rafael, Sulma, Diego, uh, Rodrigo, Daniel, and Rebecca, right? Thank you. Now we are talking about, uh, because this was the homework for yesterday, about goals in your future, probably for next year, because at the end of the year, you set up plans, right? Like Eliu, he was talking about his own project and create like something for elder people and also for uh, foreigners, right? And about a lagoon and a riding horses and also a restaurant that he will be able to get in a place. So uh, I don't know if you have thought about a dream or something like this, like an activity or any skill that you would like to develop in the next year or in the future, right? Probably in the next five or 10 years. I don't know if you had any goal or objective for the future, any of you? Somebody else wants to talk about that? Nobody, nobody, nobody has goals or any experience that would like to share with the class. If you don't, if you didn't do it, okay, Nady, go ahead, go ahead. Um, I think for the next year, it will be climate change, mm -hmm. um, because with so much pollution mm -hmm. uh, the climate it is changing extremely and there will be more storms flows or draw draws mm -hmm. the hair will also increase as this ozone layer is already he heavily damaging mm -hmm. Um, this is causes by sand and hair will increase, such as skin cancer. Um, I intend to continue studying English mm -hmm. and working in an NGO if good are allows me. Um, okay, you got it. Okay, very good, Nady. Very good, perfect. So Nady was talking about the climate change, right? So the climate will change. Probably we will have more problems. But it's, uh, I think that it's our responsibility to, to change, right? The way that we spend our time and money to save uh, the world, and also probably she will keep on studying English. Probably, probably next year you will have graduated already, right, Nady? So. Probably some of you will have your diploma. Yes. So that's 
Yeah, exactly. Many of you will have graduated from this course, these classes. So you will have a lot of a lot of experience and you will have prepared, you will be prepared to uh, better your English. Perfect. Thank you, Nady. Uh, do we have somebody else? Alguien más que quiera compartir algo acerca del futuro? A future, like uh, something, that, an activity that you would like to try, an experience, something that you would like to develop, something else? Me, teacher. Okay, Zulma, go ahead. Okay, um, in two years, I will have my own house. If God allow it, um, right here in Apopa, only that the houses are bigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you will have your house in two years. In two years. Two years. Okay, yeah. perfect. You you will live there with your family or by yourself? With my family. Mm -hmm. Okay, and who do you live with? Uh, I live in Apopa. Okay, uh, but who do you live with? You live with your mom or with your daughter or with your father? Uh, no, I live in, in, with my husband and my son. You live with your sister and your son. And my pets. And your pets. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> very good. I understand. Yes, yeah, so you will have a bigger house probably and you will have your own house. That's a good objective also to, to get your own house. That's very good. Perfect. Somebody else? Alguien más? Somebody else? No one else? Okay, no problem. We are going to continue uh, just to a, a quick review, right? About um, the future, right? Okay, it says uh, we are going to, we have a listening here because also we are going to um, check our listening, right? Not only our speaking. It says important world events. Listen to people discuss the questions write the correct answer. So number one, we have what date did people first land on the moon? Number two, when was the first World Cup? Number three, when was the Chernobyl disaster? Number four, how long did it take to build the Titanic? And number five, when did the Indian Ocean tsunami occur? So we are going to listen and we are going to answer the questions, okay? Let's listen to it. Let me know if you're able to listen because sometimes um, the audio Unit is not 10. activated. Um, are you able to listen? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. So I'm going to look for the track right now. We are going to listen to it. Okay, let's see. Always are. Okay, uh, my recommendation is if you have something to write, si tienen algo donde escribir, escriban la respuesta. Lo vamos a ver si, si no pueden eh, obtener la respuesta en la primera vez. Lo vamos a escuchar otra vez. We are going to listen it twice, okay? If it is needed. So we are going to listen right now this exercise about, we need to answer the five questions. Units nine to 10, progress check. Page 71, exercise three, listening. Important world events, part A. Listen to people discuss the questions. Write the correct answers. One. Did I ever tell you that when I was little, I wanted to be an astronaut? No, you didn't. I remember watching Neil Armstrong land on the moon. Do you remember the date? July 20th, 1969, right? That's right. Two. Hey, we should start planning a trip for the next World Cup. Yeah, that would be exciting. I was watching this documentary. Did you know that in the first World Cup in Uruguay, only 13 countries participated? Wow, what a difference. I think there were 32 countries in the last tournament. Yeah, a lot has changed since 1930. 
Three. What are you reading? It's an article about the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. They're talking about what the contaminated area is like now. Did you know that a few hundred elderly people never left Chernobyl? They didn't want to leave their homes. I can't believe that. It seems so dangerous. Do you remember the year? It was in 1986, right? Yep. Good memory. Four. Mom, can you help me with this project? Sure. What is it about? I'm talking about the Titanic, but I need one more fact. Let me see. Ah, I know that they took from 1909 to 1911 to build it. More than 3,000 people helped build it. Really? That's perfect. Thanks, Mom. Five. It's almost the anniversary of the Indian Ocean tsunami. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. How could I forget? Did you know it only took 15 minutes after the quake for the waves to reach the coast of Sumatra? Wow, that's fast. Let me see if I remember the date. It was in 2004, right? Yep, December 26th, 2004. I read the waves were 100 feet high in some places. Can you imagine? Okay, very good. Were you able to answer all of the questions? Did you answer all of the questions or do you want to listen to it again? Again, please. Again. Yeah, this, yeah, okay. The second one. I, I did. Okay, very good. We are going to listen to it again. Okay, pay attention to what they say. Let's see. Units 9 to 10, progress check. Page 71, exercise 3. Listening. Important World Events. Part A. Listen to people discuss the questions. Write the correct answers. 1. Did I ever tell you that when I was little, I wanted to be an astronaut? No, you didn't. I remember watching Neil Armstrong land on the moon. Do you remember the date? July 20th, 1969, right? That's right. Two. Hey, we should start planning a trip for the next World Cup. Yeah, that would be exciting. I was watching this documentary. Did you know that in the first World Cup in Uruguay, only 13 countries participated? Wow, what a difference. I think there were 32 countries in the last tournament. Yeah, a lot has changed since 1930. Three. What are you reading? It's an article about the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. They're talking about what the contaminated area is like now. Did you know that a few hundred elderly people never left Chernobyl? They didn't want to leave their homes. I can't believe that. It seems so dangerous. Do you remember the year? It was in 1986, right? Yep. Good memory. Four. Mom. Can you help me with this project? Sure. What is it about? I'm talking about the Titanic, but I need one more fact. Let me see. Ah, I know that they took from 1909 to 1911 to build it. More than 3,000 people helped build it. Really? That's perfect. Thanks, Mom. Five. It's almost the anniversary of the Indian Ocean tsunami. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. How could I forget? Did you know it only took 15 minutes after the quake for the waves to reach the coast of Sumatra? Wow, that's fast. Let me see if I remember the date. It was in 2004, right? Yep, December 26th, 2004. I read the waves were 100 feet high in some places. Can you imagine? Sorry, I wasn't mute. Now, did you have the the answers? Yeah. Yes, right. Okay, perfect. Number one, what day did people first land on the moon? 1969. July, July 
July 20, 1969. Very good. Perfect. Let's see. When was the first World Cup? 1930. 1930. Very good. Very good. And when was uh what where was uh located? In which country? In which country was the first World Cup? Ukraine. Hi. The first World Cup was in Ukraine. Ukraine? No, the Chernobyl. Oh, Chernobyl, Chernobyl, yes. But the first World Cup, donde, donde pasó la primera, where, where, did, where did it happen? The first World Cup. In which country? Who knows? El was it? <laughs> no, it was not El Salvador. It was in Uruguay, right? In Uruguay. Very good. Now, when was the Chernobyl disaster? When? Number three. Nine. 1986. 1986. 1986. Exactly. 1986. Exactly. Number four. How long did it take to build the Titanic? For three years. 1909 mm -hmm. to 1911. Very good. From 1909 to 1911. Perfect. And the last one, when did the Indian Ocean tsunami occur? 2004. December 26, mm -hmm. 2004. Exactly, December 26, 2004. No, 2004. 2004, exactly, very good, perfect. You see, you are able to listen like very complicated facts. Now we're going to listen to another conversation. Um, very quickly, this conversation is about uh, predictions, right? Let's see what kind of predictions are we able to listen in this one. Just to review, let's see. Hello again, and welcome to the... Let me see, let me play here. It's here. Okay, so, future and predictions... Wow, look at some of these predictions. Some of these are pretty cool. You aren't kidding. Check out this one about technology. The volume, it says that in the the volume is we have robots that do our housework for us. Quiet. I don't know about that one. That sounds a little unbelievable if you ask me. Uh, you never know. We already have robots that do a lot of jobs. Anyways, I know I'll buy one if they come out with it. Oh, look at this one. Now this one I do believe. It says that in 10 years, cell phones will be flexible. Oh, cool. Well, I guess people won't have to worry about broken screens anymore. What do you think about this one? It says that within 20 years, humans will have been to the planet Mars. I think that we'll go to Mars one day, but we won't do it in 20 years. Maybe more like 50. Well, then you're definitely not going to believe this next one. It says that humans will be living on Mars in the year 2060. Yeah, that's crazy. But I bet we will try living in other places soon if this next prediction is correct. Why? What's it say? It says that if the world population continues to grow, we will have reached 10 billion people by the year 2060. Dang, that's a scary thought. How will we have enough food for everyone? Well, that's the next prediction. It says that people will be eating food in the form of pills, almost like medicine. What? No way. I'd never stop eating real food. What would be the fun of eating if you don't taste anything? I don't believe that one. And get this one. It says that since there will be less and less farmland, most food will be grown in the cities and skyscraper farms. Hmm. Well, that one actually makes sense. I think I saw a show about the benefits of growing food locally in the city. Man, I hope at least some of these come true one day. It would be so cool to see these things actually happen. I know, right? But I guess only time will tell if these things actually happen.
Oh, hey, look, that's the car I was telling you about. Okay, very good. Now we are going to uh, answer these questions, okay? It says, what was the conversation about? What was this conversation about? About future events. Exactly, about future events. Like something that will happen in 50 or 60 years, right? Probably we won't be here any longer. And what prediction impacted you most? What was like the prediction that you said that's not possible or probably that was not like, probably that won't happen or surprise you? Cell phone flexes? Like flexible phones, right? We have flip flip phones, right? Right now. Yes. Thanks uh, for all the tricky. Okay, Marvin. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead, Elio. Okay, the the most impressionant for me is the to go to live in Mars. Yes, many many people wants to travel to Mars, and, and many people wants to to go and travel different places, right? Probably we are looking uh, farther and farther, but that's kind of complicated actually because it takes a lot to, to go there. Perfect. So as we can see, we were uh, using the predictions and we were talking about future, right? Future with will. Remember, just to review, this is a review. Uh, normal future, right? Will be or won't, that is the negative, plus the base form. People won't have to worry about broken screens because cell phones will be flexible, right? Cell phones will be flexible. Or people will have robots that do housework, right? Nowadays, we have some robots, right? They don't do housework like, like this one, like in the picture, but there are many robots around the houses nowadays. Let's see another one. The future with will, with future continues, right? With future continuous, let's remember that is an action that will be in the process at a specific time in the future, right? So we don't know exactly when, but it will be happening. For example, people will be living on Mars in 60 years, right? Will be living. That is the future continuous. And in 2060, people will be eating pills. Will be eating pills is future continuous also. And the future perfect, right? The Leo was saying that it was kind of confusing. But this is an action that will happen before another action in the future. So, for example, um, the first action has to happen for the second action to to exist, right? So, for example, the population have reached ten will will have reached ten billion by twenty sixty. By it means before, right? Before twenty sixty, will will uh, will have we will have reached ten billion, right? So we have to grow 10 billion first. So uh, by 2060, we will have reached 10 billions. Or for example, humans will have been to Mars within 20 years, within dentro de verdad, in a certain amount of time. So in 20 years, probably humans will be living or will have been to Mars, right? So that's what happens in this case, that the action, uh, first we will have, we will travel to Mars and then we will be living right in Mars. So that will be uh, one of the differences between the normal future with a will, with the past participle and the future continuous, right? In the future perfect. This is just a review, right? Because we already uh, checked this before. Now let's see what time it is. And also we have time references, right? This is for uh, the past, right? Time references in and during and or durante, verdad? When did you meet grandma? We met during the 1940s, right? We met in 1941. Since or for, desde o por, verdad? How long have you been together? We've been together since 1941. We've been together for 70 years, right? It's the same. But it's different. We say with different words. Ago, hace, verdad? 60 years ago, we didn't have texting. Hace 60 años no teníamos mensaje de texto, right? 60 years ago, this is now, and 60 years ago, right? 
and from to, right? Desde hasta. When were you in the army? I was in the army from 1942 to 1945. So these are just time references, right? Do you have any questions about this? Preguntas acerca de time references o acerca de el future? Do you have any question? No questions? Teacher, uh -huh. uh, como, you know, que me lo digan en español porque la verdad no, no, no. ¿Cómo se traduce el, el futuro perfecto y, y el continuo? Uh, for, for example, in this sentence, right? Humans will have been to Mars within 20 years. Los humanos habrán estado en Marte dentro de 20 años. Primero tendríamos que haber viajado a Marte y después o viajado al exterior al espacio y después vamos a estar en Marte y eso nos va a tomar 20 años. Entonces ese es el futuro perfecto. Habrán estado. Habrán estado. Digamos que eso ya en el futuro ya habrá pasado. It's over, right? No va a pasar y no, no va a estar pasando. Eso ya haber pasado. Eso es una predicción, ¿verdad? Es una manera de decir una predicción. Ese sería el future perfect. Y el futuro continuo, the future continuous, will be plus gerund in 2060. People will be eating pills. En el 2060 la gente estará comiendo pastillas. Estará comiendo. Eso, eso va a estar pasando en ese momento. No habrá pasado ni va a pasar. Estará pasando en ese momento, en el 2060. So, esa es la diferencia. People will be eating pills. Estará comiendo pastillas. Y humans will have been to Mars within 20 years. Habrán estado en Marte. Ya habrán hecho eso. Eso ya habrá pasado. Tal vez ya habrán estado viviendo, etc. So, that is the difference. Okay, thank you. Okay, do you have any questions? Any other questions? Okay, perfect. Now we are, have a quiz, right? We have an exam. You already finished the final exam and the platform, hopefully. So you won't have any problems with your diploma, but I have here um, a quiz, a final quiz. Let's see who passes the, the quiz, right? This is just a review. Vamos a hacer un repaso de todo lo que hemos estudiado. So just let me... Let me see here. I will stop this and I will open the quiz so you will be able to to see it, right? It will, it will be the same like we did before. Va a ser como lo hicimos antes, ¿verdad? And so we are going to to go to a web page if you have your computer or if you have your cell phone you will be able to to review it right let's see okay i will share the screen right now so you will we will be able to finish with this right okay we have two ways to join you can go to kahoot.it or you if you have like a code like a qr code you can check it there right and you need to enter the game pin right three seven four two nine eight two so that is uh that's for the test right you can go to kahoot.it or if you have a QR reader, Rebecca is there. Thank you, Rebecca. You just need to enter the pin, right? Let me see if I'm able to enter. For example, I have a QR and I just need to place it here. And I go to, to the web page, right? And I just need to write my, my name. So we have Rafael, we have Rebecca. Let's see, let's, we, we are going to wait two more minutes. So let's see who else wants to play, right? If you are not able to access, no problem, because uh, you will be able to see, right? To see the, the game in your computer. 
si no pueden participar o por alguna razón no pueden accesar, eh, pueden ver las preguntas, ¿ok? Y pueden responder así en voz alta, if you want to. Pero eh, lo mejor es que traten de averiguarlo, ¿verdad? Traten de participar así, interactuar con su dispositivo. No puedo entrar, no sé si esta computadora es que la otra era más rápida, esta, no sé qué es lo que... ¿A dónde pongo el pin? Ah, oh, I... Eh... It says Kahoot, Kahoot.it. Let's see. Let me, let me see if I'm able to place it here. And Kahoot. Kahoot.it. Here, you go to Kahoot and game pin here. Mm -hmm. And you need to write the game pin, which is um, 374. 2982. I will send you here the, the web page. Voy a enviar la, la página por también por el chat. Ah, okay. Diego already did. Diego already did. So remember the pin is, let's see here. 3742982. We have Sandra, we have Diego, we have Rodrigo. We have Rafael, we have Rebecca. We're going to wait for you, Eli, because I know that you want to participate. Would you like to put again the, the, the play that I, that I must put the pin? Yes, here. Okay, okay let me see. Here, and you need to okay. enter 374 yes, 2982 yeah, yes. 374 2982 yes i wrote in a piece of paper okay but uh... i send a link again uh, in the in the chat so if you're able to see it you can go there directly Okay. Okay, this will be with all the, not only the last section, but all of the sections, right? Section one, section two, section three, section four. Okay, Leo, did you, were you able to access? It is running right now. It's, it's, it's loading. Lenta la computadora. Oh, okay. It's loading, <laughs> yes. It's loading, I understand, yeah. Yeah, because you just enter it and okay. it loads like that and that's it. And then you enter your nickname, Leo. Yes, Leo, for example, and that's it. Tres, siete, cuatro, veintinueve, ochenta y dos. Lo siento, me dice. Tres, siete, cuatro, veintinueve, ochenta y dos. Zulma, thank you for joining. What, what does it show? Oh, you're there already. You're the bird. You're the Yeah? Yes, you're okay. there. 374 to 982. That's that's what you you enter. Yes, okay. I guess you're there already. But it the <laughs> no puedo ver nada. No solo estoy viendo el cajón otra. Voy a meterlo oh, otra vez. ¿Cómo edito el nombre? Uh, let's see. I guess that you can are you in your phone or in your Phone? In your phone. Yes. You are a 3798 or you're not Nady. You are Nady 374 
Yes, I guess that you, you can just uh, edit your, your icon. But I guess that if you know, if you know uh, that this, that one is you, it's okay. Si no puedo entrar porque me da y me, me tiene una, una franja roja abajo, uh -huh. pero no, no lo despliega. Rebeca. Ok. And did you check the chat, Eliu? Check the chat and you can uh, click in the second link that I sent. Ok. Click in the second link and you will see this one. Yes, I did it, but lo voy a poner otra vez. El... And you just need to enter your name. You just need to enter your name. It says nickname, and you just need to enter Eliu. Oh, yeah. Es que le estaba poniendo el número, el código. Estoy, ¿verdad? Let's see. Eliu, yes, you're there. You see? Okay. Okay, we are going to begin right now. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, perfect. Let's see here. Okay, uh, it's time sensitive, right? Es con tiempo, así que you just have um, 30, 30 seconds to answer, right? Let's begin. Let's see here. Okay, what is the past participle of cut? Cut, cut it, cutting, or cutting? What is the past participle of cut? Cut. Okay, just, just answering your phones, okay? Very good. Teacher, disculpe. Pero uh -huh. no aparece en letras. ¿Dónde es de meterse ahí para ir contestando? No, yes. no. Yes, you need to enter here, for example. Ajá, yo estoy adentro, ajá, pero ajá. ¿qué icono me voy? Ajá. And then you just need to enter um, this one. For example, only four answer. Cut, cutting, cut it. But we are going to continue with the next one. Let's see. What you have pero, to do? Es que a mí solo me aparecieron figuras. No, no, hay que escribir o okay. qué? No, it, let's see, let's see, you see the figures. The red one is a triangle, right? The yeah. blue one, it's a rombo, right? A circle is the yellow one and the square is like the green one. So you just need to choose the figure, but the answer will be here on the screen. La respuesta va a estar aquí en la pantalla, pero ustedes solo van a escoger la figurita en su dispositivo. Okay? So let's see, let's let's play the next one. Let's see. Okay, very good, Rebecca, Sandra, and Rodrigo. Let's see next one. The next one says, how do you say parachoques in English? So you just need to choose the figure, you see? How do you say parachoques? Hood, headlight, bumper, or wheel, red, blue, yellow, or green? Choose the correct one. How do you say parachoques? Es como adivinando que va uno porque porque no 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 despliega las letras. Yes, exactly, but you have to see you have to see the the screen, right? You have to see the screen uh, where I'm, I'm I'm you have to see zoom. Tiene que ver zoom para que mire las las respuestas. Yeah, las dos estas las he fallado, que no he visto nada. Ok, tiene que ver la pantalla de Zoom, porque yo la estoy compartiendo, ok. Let's see, very good, Sandra and Rebecca. Let's see next one. Which for of the following is a gerund? ¿Cuál de los siguientes es un gerund? Working. Is working. Worked 
or to work. Miren la pantalla de Zoom, ahí está apareciendo las, las respuestas. Y después en su otra pantalla o en su otra ventana van a poder elegir, ¿verdad? Ok, finish working. Very good. That is the gerund. Exactly. Next one. Very good, Rafael. Let's see next one. Complete the following sentence. The chair needs to be fixed. To fix. Fix it. Fixing. ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? Rojo, azul, amarillo o verde. Okay, to be fixed, exactly. The church, the church needs to be fixed. La silla necesita ser arreglada. Very good, perfect. Let's see, or, or fixing. Fixing was okay also, next fixing. Next one. What is the tense of the following sentence? Too many trees have been cut down. Is in present continuous? Present perfect passive, present perfect, or present perfect continuous. ¿Cuál es el tiempo de esa oración? Too many trees have been cut down. Present perfect passive, right? Present perfect passive. Very good. What's the blue one? Era la azul. Very good. Next one. We just have five minutes. Let's see. A period when the economy of a country is not successful and conditions for business are bad. Famine, inflation, poverty, recession. Un periodo en el que la economía de un país no es exitosa y las condiciones de los negocios son malos. ¿Cómo se llama eso? Famine, inflation, poverty, recession. Recession, very good. Recesión, ¿verdad? Inflation is another term. Very good. It's very similar. Very good. Let's see next one. Damos a la mitad. Which of the following sentences is incorrect? I rather study at night. I prefer to study at night. I rather to study at night. And the green one is no option, okay? So solo tres opciones, la roja, la azul o la amarilla. ¿Cuál es incorrecta? ¿Cuál está mal de esas tres? Exactly. I rather to study at night. No se dice I rather to study, but se dice I rather study. Very good. I rather study. Perfect. Next one. Let's see. The ability to control and motivate yourself. Stay on track and do what is right. Self-discipline. Self-confidence. Perseverance, creativity. ¿Cuál es el término de esa? La habilidad de controlar y motivarse usted mismo. Which one is the correct one? Self-discipline. Very good. Self-discipline. Let's see next one. We almost finished. Ya casi terminamos. Vamos a ver quién gana. El que gane un punto para el examen. Complete the following sentence. The best way to learn is by take lessons, by taking lessons, take lessons, taking lessons.
la mejor manera de aprender es by taking lessons very good taking lessons no by was missing there very good perfect rebecca is on fire very good rebecca which of the following sentences is in passive voice cuál de las siguientes está en voz pasiva i paint my house every year the painter paints my house every year i get my house painted every year or my house gets painted every year Okay, let's see. Uh, the two are correct. I get my house painted every year and my house gets painted every year. Perfect. Let's see next one. What is the meaning of get along with? Phrasal verbs. ¿Qué significa get along with? Be excited for, to have a good relationship with someone, to end a romantic relationship with someone, or stay in pace with. ¿Qué significa get along with? Okay, we almost finished. Let's see. To have a good relationship with someone. Exactly. Get along with. Llevarse bien, ¿verdad? Let's see the next one. Which of the following is not a modal verb? ¿Cuál de los siguientes no es un modal verb? Must, could, should, or watch? ¿Cuál no es un modal verb? Exactly, watch, right? Watch is not a model verb. A ver, nos faltan solo tres, no, dos creo yo, dos. Which of the following sentences is correct? ¿Cuál de las siguientes oraciones está correcta? I started learning English for 2017. I started learning English from 2017. I started learning English in 2017. Or I started learning English 2017 ago. Eso lo acabamos de ver. We just studied that. Exactly. I started learning English in 2017, right? In 2017. Almost the last one. What is the meaning of the process of finding information a place or an object for the first time. Election, achievement, revolution or discovery. The process of finding information, a place or an object for the first time. Election, achievement, revolution or discovery. Discovery, very good, descubrimiento, right? Y vamos con la última, ¿verdad? True or false. The students will be passing the module by the end of the week. True or false. The students will be passing the module by the end of the week. True or false. True, right? Exactly. Very good. True. So you will be passing the, the module. Very good. Let's see who won this final exam. Cesar. Very good, Cesar. Let's see next one. Sandra. Very good, Sandra. And the first one is Rebecca. Very good, Rebecca. Perfect. Rodrigo and Rafael, for and fifth place. Very good, you see? Okay, perfect. So we are going to finish right now um, the, the class with this final exam. Probably, hopefully you have learned something. 
and uh, you will be passing, you will be having your, your, your a diploma, right? Uh, hopefully I will see you again. Si no los miro ya después, pues fue un gusto. Espero que hayan aprendido algo y espero que pasen muy feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, okay? Gracias, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You too. Me gustó okay, su clase. You. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. And I like to have you as a student also. So thank you and have a nice night. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.